we moved to Wales from London eight years ago and we started Howie's 14 years ago now when we were in London and I think Howie's was really started as a, as a way that we could do something interesting in a really nice place rather than having to live in the centre of London and bring our kids up there so we came here and kind of found a little place to run Howie's from. One of the things we always done with the clothes is to try and put some like thinking behind them and some ideas into them so they're not just a regular piece of clothing. So it's usually based on some insight into sport or um, the life people are leading. And we've been looking at doing a waterproof jean, which looks just like any other one of our regular jeans, but it's actually um, waterproof denim. So that should be coming out next year. And that's great for you know people just being outside, especially in Wales, because of the rain. Now everybody's working on finalising all the, the range for next spring, summer and thinking about next autumn, winter. So we, we have to think quite far ahead, which is quite tricky. A lot of the products we make, you know, are just regular shorts or T-shirts. Maybe we've lost our way a bit over the last few years by expanding the range too much and forgetting the kind of core cool sports products. So we're going back to our roots a bit more now and next couple of years and doing things which have got kind of functional um, side to them as well as looking nice. It was when we moved first moved here we thought felt like we were on holiday for the first six months and then we had to kind of knuckle down and do some work but um, I don't know it's got pros and cons it's absolutely amazing place to live but you are a bit isolated from the other world out there and so I think you know everybody has to be in how he's be aware of what's going on in the broader culture and fashion and things. But I think also it gives us a point of difference and a bit of a, an insight into maybe what people need from products who kind of spend a lot of time outside doing, you know, kind of walking or cycling or playing in the sea or whatever. We've got good over the years at um, producing the catalogue, partly because that was what we knew how to do. We were both copywriters and we knew how to tell stories about products and brands. So the catalogue really has kind of got better and better each time and it's kind of, I suppose it is something that people benchmark as a mail order catalogue with a bit of difference to it. I suppose so the catalogue's become something that, you know, we're quite famous for and I suppose our struggle has always been to try and make the rest of the business as good as the catalogue. You know, if we're honest, um, the clothing line, you know, is, is getting there. Um, the kind of business side of it is getting there but, um, you know, the catalogue's kind of the easy bit really. If we just, if you just feel like you're documenting a tour that people are having or a bit of fun a group of people are having together rather than creating it for the shoot you always get kind of better photos I think so it's almost like the photographers tag along on that something that may have happened anyway and just kind of document what goes on um, and of course people just happen to be wearing our clothes but um, so I think yeah there's always a lot of fun and you know um, loads of stories on the shoots you know great of great times and I think it does come across in the catalogue I think one of the, the nice things about Howie's is that we've got such a, a great team of people um, working for us, a kind of an odd bunch really, a collection of people that we picked up along the way. But I think what um, you know unites everyone is their kind of belief in the sports that they do and, and, um, and, the, and the vision of Howie's really. And you know, we've got people like Pete who've been with us since he moved to Wales and he designs all our um, graphics for t-shirts and catalogue and things and you know he gets it and we got um, you know Aid who's a kind of um, mad kind of cyclist kind of full of passion and energy and kind of drives everyone forward and Paul kind of, kind of dissenter in the corner and um, Tim March the new guy fighting for us so it's all quite exciting all the people there and uh, yeah 